it'll it'll be a very short recording. <laughs> <laughs> Started. So, so yeah, hello and welcome. This is the Kubernetes SIG storage uh, volume populators weekly meeting. We only have one item on the agenda today, which is about the naming of the two new repos for the volume populators work. I had sent out a request uh, last week suggesting that we name them data dash source dat. Oh, here, let me. Or how am I going to do this? Um, oh, I need to make your. No, I decide. I, I'm I'm huh? not prepared to. Oh, to we can just yet. share the the email. I found that email. Let me share okay. the email so they. Yeah, can if you want to share the email, <clears throat> that'd right. be awesome. Yeah, so um, we need two repos. I think. I mean. Uh, we could argue that they could be done in one repo, but I think that in general, we're pushing for more modularity, splitting things up more. Um, and, and if I have to do one, I may as well do two because I still have to, it's the same amount of work, just have to do it twice. Um, so the, the one repo is gonna be for the validator, which is gonna contain the new volume populator CRD and the new controller that we will be asking deployers to install with their clusters once this feature goes beta. Um, and that will be a, a fairly small repo because that controller doesn't do anything other than watch PVCs and watch volume populators and generate events when a PVC has a data source that doesn't match a volume populator. Um, so I was proposing we call that one data source validator. Saad wrote back, he wants to call it volume data source one word validator. Um, I thought the data source was, was two words. Um, in the PVC spec, or at least that the S was capitalized. Shing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It is two word. Maybe he was thinking, oh, once he added volume, then <laughs> you would have to have like four separate, like three dashes. Maybe that's why he was. Yeah, I mean volume dash data dash source dash validator. Let me find. Um, I'm okay. Um. Yeah, having, having a huge number of hyphens looks weird, but smashing data mm -hmm. and source together as if they're one word also feels weird to me. Um, I guess maybe because this one field name in the PVC is how he's thinking about it. Data source is the field. I don't know, I, I, think, I think I will put a hyphen in just because, um, just because that'll look better. Or just, just I think you can still just once you open the issue, uh, because we will need to go plus one. They are not going to create it right away. They're going to wait for plus ones. So then Sad can still if you you know you, you add dash and then ask Sad. Well, right, right. Plus I mean, so, one, so, right. So so Sad will get another chance to object. But if everyone yeah. here is, is okay, I think I like the idea of four words: volume dash data dash source dash validate. Um, okay, I'm just, not. Just so we're not. We'll pick it up. Just, I'm okay either way. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The other one is more interesting. So the other library is. I'm sorry. The other repo is initially going to contain my library code for mm -hmm. volume populators, including the so, sample. Hello, oh, populator. Oh, this will include that sample. Okay, that, I guess that's my question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if that's yeah. the case, maybe it makes more sense just to call it populator because you actually have a populator in there, not just the lib, right? Right, but but I'm so I'm imagining, you know, after this, let's say somebody wants to implement an actual populator, mm -hmm. um, and so they're creating their own repo in some third-party location, and they're importing this code, um, okay. and they're using it as a library. Um, then okay. Yes then it, it feels like when you're importing Go code from a foreign repo, you want it, you're treating it as a library, you want it to be called lib. Um, but I think he was, his point is that what if we convert that into a sidecar, which is a possibility, well, right? So I think that's right. why he was saying. Well, yeah, yeah, I was, I was going to, I was going to get to that. So okay. our, our goal is to make this a sidecar eventually, but if we release it as a library at all, um, then we, we might be stuck supporting that for a while. And if we do a sidecar, it might be a separate thing. Oh, you mean another repo? <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I mean, I just want to think uh, this through, right? Well, but um, if it's alpha, is actually, this is still alpha, right? Are we, yeah, we're staying alpha, yeah. it's okay. So if it, we're it, staying alpha, you don't have to support backward compatibility. Okay, so, so you like the unless, idea of putting- Unless if you're saying, 
move to beta to yeah, even that right so before beta you don't have to support those anymore so it's, it's fine right as long as we don't release uh the there's, there's, there's the, data then we're all fine there's the policy of <clears throat> what we have to do but then there's also just what we would like to happen right but my goal in providing this library is to encourage people to actually start experimenting with populators right um, but we it, in kubernetes we don't really support backward compatibility for for alpha versions anyway so i, I mean i, we I know also I know, we but, don't want to be like make people believe that we support it right because then that's not consistent so yeah. so i guess we need to have a stance then on the question of mm -hmm. if if we ship this library is it because we want people to start writing populators and if we want people to start writing populators is it going to be okay to deprecate the library that we give them and say you have to switch to a sidecar now well but that's the i mean that's that's the thing with the alpha right alpha has always been the way you started with something so people people can start using it but then alpha has always been like that we don't support yeah. the backward compatibility right because otherwise then what is alpha anymore right <laughs> do we, well, do we get it? it's just that we we kind of know that we we want to go down uh -huh. this path but we don't know if we can and so I, I feel like we're in a weird situation where it's like this might be the the final version of it you know if, if we decide that a library is just better than a sidecar but yes i agree if we find a way to make a sidecar then we would want to deprecate the library and only support the sidecar. I mean, if if we feel the you know the library is like stable enough, we want to move it to beta. Then at that time, we say we support backward compatible. If like after the, it's become beta, then we say oh, it should be a sidecar. Then at that point, we need to support both, right? But unless right. unless if it is beta, if it's alpha, I really don't think we should support it then because that no, I, 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 we're I getting inconsistent to... with Kubernetes. We don't have to support it, but but let's say let's say it goes to beta and we do decide to support it in a backwards compatible way. Mm -hmm. Would it make sense to have both things in the same repo? Yeah, yeah. If uh, if if we are supporting, uh, oh, you're saying the both the, what both the lib and the sidecar right, in that, the same repo? That that, that that's, uh, what that's I'm also going possible, to. right? You could you could also oh, maybe that's a little weird, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wonder actually I, if. You know the history of the external provider because provider at the beginning it's a lib right and later they separate a new repo and uh, which becomes the sidecar so yeah yeah this the sidecar repo is called external provisioner right and it imports a huge amount of code from i'm trying to remember the the, place. Uh, the same and storage lib, there, right? lib external mm -hmm. provisioner yeah so lib external lib. provisioner so like that's a situation where it remained separate and the library had its own repo um and so I, I don't know. I just, I, I agree that we would like to deprecate the library and we'd like to have a sidecar, but until we know that that can be done, I, I'm not comfortable committing one way or the other. And I, I feel like to get to beta, we still need to have the library available so people can can experiment if they want. To. Right, it's really, I think that it's the concern is not like whether it's a lib or sidecar. Right? I think the concern is the name that you are thinking. If it's a lib, then you should call it call the lib. That's what you think. Is that right? Well, it, it, maybe instead of volume popular lib, it's lib volume populator. And then yeah, maybe maybe if we end up having a sidecar, we create a third repo called uh, I I don't know what we call it, uh, external populator or something. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> right. And then and then it uh, with other names. <laughs> and then you run it as a sidecar alongside your. Your right. Pod instead of external, as a library external your volume pod. populator, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, like, I don't want to go crazy with too many repos, but I also mm -hmm. think it'll be weird if we end up calling it volume populator, and then later it turns into like a sidecar, or if it has, still has a library, or if it has both the library and the sidecar, it's hard to know. So this so. is this will not be a common controller. It will always be a sidecar. Do we need any common well, the, the, the common controller is in data source validator. That's what that other library okay. is for. Okay. That the, that is the, the the common logic. And then the yeah, mm -hmm. the, the library or the sidecar would be something that you would have one per populator. Um, okay. and, and and for those that don't know, the, the benefit of a sidecar is mostly just maintainability and upgradeability. Um, you know, if, if a if we have a library and we find a security issue in that library, 
and everyone who uses the library has to recompile and release to fix the security issue. Whereas if we just have a sidecar, it's uh, we, we, we fix one thing and we re release one thing and then everyone installs that and the security issue is fixed. So <laughs> that's the benefit of a sidecar. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, so I, I'm going to... I think I'm going to go ahead with like lib. I'm going to change it to lib volume populator to match the lib external provisioner, um, mm -hmm. but stick but keep the lib terminology. And then, yeah, if, if we do end up with a sidecar, maybe we just create a third repo, and go repo happy, and, and deprecate this one. Um, unless there's any objection to that. Okay. Um, so that was the only thing on my agenda. Uh, I saw some new people join. Did you guys have any questions or anything you wanted to comment or contribute? Uh, I don't have anything, but I was yeah. remiss for missing uh, so many meetings over the last couple of weeks. Um, oh, okay. I guess the one thing that I'm kind of curious about in the back of my head, and I would hate to take up a lot of time on this, but have you guys figured out the uh, how to handle wait for first consumer um, yes, yes. The, 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 uh, the last update I made to the, to the prototype provisioner handles wait for first consumer quite elegantly. Oh. Um, the, the, only, the only funny business is that it relies on, it basically it has an implementation that matches what external provisioner does, but what external provisioner does is it relies on an annotation to be set. It's sort of, I guess, an undocumented internal detail. So okay. like if if that were ever to change, like it would break the populator mechanism because the populator mechanism is just piggybacking on that same undocumented annotation <clears throat> um, to, to, to basically mimic the behavior. But I did a demo uh, probably back before the holidays on a wait for first consumer working exactly the way we wanted. Um, it was just some changes to the library code to basically look at those fields and copy the behavior of the external provisioner when they're set. That's awesome. I'll take a look. Yeah. All right. Well, if, if no one has any other questions, um, that's the whole agenda. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and make make the requests for uh, the new repos to be created and get started on filling them in. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.